What's up, Saber friends? I've never made a video just with my face. Usually it's just my hands. But I figure, what's up, you know? Show you the face behind the magic. All right, so. Figured it's about time that I did a proper video for my scrap tape, which is a saber that I actually really enjoy out of all of my creations and whatnot. Um, this one I always come back to that I swing around the most. Uh, the box, custom done by me. I make these. I'm doing for fun. Every now and then somebody wants one, which y'all have been hitting me up a lot lately and I got a ton of them which I've done quite a bit. I'm trying to get everyone else out, so it's kind of, I don't do it all the time just because I don't have that much time for commission stuff. But, there she is. In the box. Yeah, the boxes are pre-made, but I do all the customization, all the inside, all the material. On the inside of them, my cut and all that fun stuff. Anyways, that's not what this is about. This is about my scrap tech. In true scrap tech fashion, this thing is made with, or really I can't say in true fashion, but this is made from scrap parts. This was all, minus the Solo Soul pommel, which I got from Solo Soul. Just beautiful pommel, it's amazing. Every time I look at it, I'm just, mm. Leather wrap is a lambskin that I actually got from Hobby Lobby, which is surprising because at first the color was, you know, it was very bright and vibrant and it kind of had like a, I don't know, it just, it, just, it just shined too much. It didn't really feel that worn thing that we got in Star Wars. So, did a lot of weathering, used a lot of different methods, hydrated it, and it's extremely comfortable. I cut it in different widths around the um, like the strip I made some of them wider than others so it has this really uneven wrap to it and since they were the pieces are kind of like a bigger wider section here and a smaller one it make it grips it better there's a little bit more cushion for it for some reason um, 2.0 cobalt card chopped it up put it in there um, this piece right here I don't know where that where, where that's from but I got it uh, off of a saber that I had that was one of the first that I got it was a I think it's like a plumbing piece in all honesty but it fits slides over the um, the 2.0 or 2.5 Graflex um, core band uh, emitter and then yeah this just threads right in there my wiring is really not the cleanest as far as like you know, it's everywhere. As a matter of fact, y'all don't need to see that. But I made the chassis bit out of chassis discs that I had. My main goal was to just put this together with what I had in my drawer. Leather right here, kind of coated style, is from spare leather st straps that I had. Uh, activation, it's a push button um, that I had from a graphic shop. Push button, yeah, spring loaded, and then the buttons on the uh, blade uh, holder. Auxiliary, little button that I rolled a hole out of one of those end tabs for uh, this thing was kind of a pain, but it works, it's fine. Blade plug is uh. Custom blade plug. Where's that? Yeah. So I used a bunch of things again from the drawer of parts that I never let go because I'm um, like that could be used in a crystal chamber or some dealio. But uh, I think that's a butane torch. This might be a piece from a butane torch, which is cool because I, I like using them because they have these little. I don't know if you can see it in there. Little speaker or not speaker. A uh a grill type mesh grill in there but I really like how it's um, aluminum and brass and aluminum and a 
even a little bit of brass on the inside of the aluminum. So it just goes really well with all the uh, brass and aluminum that I tend to really kind of gravitate towards whenever I do custom, like my own custom build. I always find that I have some brass and influence in there somewhere. But it's got a Crystal Focus 10 CFX. <laughs> I've got like <laughs> I've got like 20 fonts, 27 fonts in this, I think. So I'll only do a few. stuff happened in the last few years on this desk. I made a lot of savers, but I kind of stay out of the limelight. I'm just, it can get too much, man. I just enjoy doing it. I don't really need to listen to somebody tell me I'm doing something wrong or I should have done this or that. I really don't care. Um, this is for fun for me. I love it. Who has? Who doesn't love a lightsaber? I mean, as a prop maker, I mean, I consider myself a prop enthusiast maker. I make them for fun. Sometimes I occasionally get paid to do it, but um, for the most part, I mean, it's just a passion of mine. Ever since I was a child, I wanted to throw the real lightsaber, you know, or make the gun from the movie, whatever it is, wear the shield, like the shields, all that stuff, helmets, sign me up. So, this was just one of the out of all the prop making and cosplaying and all the stuff that I did once I found lightsabers, see ya, it's all I do. <laughs> I've probably installed and customized upwards of like 50. A lot of my personal collection, I wish I really need to work my personal collection down. So. But yeah. Sound bank selection. Anyways, there's that. I'll make probably a little video for with the blade in. You can see it. I mean, we all know what a blade looks like when it lights up. That sweet neopixel goodness. Anyways, peace out.